My name is Ashton Holmes and I'm a junior engineer. I was looking to compare different WAN emulation tools, so I took a look at WANM, which is a free and open source tool, and compared it to the Apposite Technologies Meiji, which is a professional tool. The point of my testing was to hopefully obtain reliable and repeatable results across a wide variety of tests, such that we know the tool is working the way it was intended to. The testing I did was using iperf and ping to test for packet loss, bandwidth throttling, packet corruption, packet duplication, and packet reordering. The tool should have been fairly straightforward. I went to WANM's website and took a look and they had an ISO and download the ISO, write it to a CD image is what they told you to do. Um, I downloaded it and put it to a USB flash drive because that's more modern and we didn't have a blank CD lying around. Um, unfortunately, that didn't work, so I ended up having to manually load the Linux image from Grub, which took me quite some time to figure out how to do, um, probably a couple days. And once I had that figured out, then I had to go into the um, web interface, which looked like it was from the 80s, and that was working okay, but actually getting the machine to pass traffic with other machines uh, through two different interfaces, which was the goal, took even longer. Their recommended setup is not an ideal situation for WAN emulation. Adding any kind of latency resulted in extra latency, but it was in a variation. So, for example, if I added 20 milliseconds of ping, the actual latency added would be anywhere from 20 to 25 milliseconds, just kind of arbitrarily. Um, and it wasn't a very reliable uh, result. The Apposite Technologies Mini G setup, on the other hand, was far simpler. All I had to do was plug it in, plug in my devices, plug in my computer to the management port, and go to its IP address, where I was greeted with a nice web interface and it just works. You punch in the settings you want and it passes traffic. There's no weird setup on the remote machines. There's no trying to bridge interfaces or doing anything weird. They just, your interface is past traffic and everything just works. Overall, the conclusion that I reached is that WANM is a great tool if you want unreliable and unpredictable results. However, the Apposite Technologies Mini-G is a far better tool that gives you exactly what you expect and at the end of the day, with WANM, it ended up costing me days of time. So it might be free software, but I'm not sure it's free, especially when the results at the end of that time aren't even accurate.